Hello, New Thought Northern Colorado kids. It's Miss Brooke and Miss Taryn and Miss Amaya today. It's a lucky day. So the first thing that we do and we start out with is our prayer song. So Taryn, how do you want to feel this week? Um, happy? Happy, sure. So let's sing together. Are you ready? God is happy. I am happy. I accept happy and all I want. Thank you, God. Over and out. Woo! And so it is. All right, Amaya, how do you want to feel this week? Healthy. Healthy. All right, let's do some prayer for health. Healthy and wealthy. Healthy and wealthy. Healthy, wealthy, and wise? Okay. Okay, you ready? God is healthy, wealthy, and wise. I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. I accept healthy, wealthy, and wise in all I want. Thank you, God. Over and out. Woo. And so it is. Thank you. All right, if you want to go ahead and get yourself cozy for meditation, we'll get started. Get yourself in a nice cozy place. We'll ring our bells. Take some big, deep breaths together. Here we go. I want you to see above your head a beautiful, beautiful star. The star is filled with lovely white light. I want you to bring the white light from that star right down through your body until you can feel it in every part of you and your heart is filled with love for all humanity and for all creatures, great and small. Your guardian is waiting for you to wrap a golden cloak of protection around you and take you to the worry tree. Put anything that worries you on that tree. And then your guardian will open the gate and take you inside your garden. This garden is inside of you. This garden is inside of your soul, inside of your heart. It is a place where you directly connect to the divine. <sighs> Maybe your garden is a beautiful summer garden today. Your garden may be a mountain garden a rose garden, a botanical garden. It might be a meadow. Whatever imagine, whatever you can imagine. Feel how it feels to sit in your garden. Is there a breeze on your skin? Is it chilly? Is it nice and warm? Can you feel the sun warming your face? What do you hear in your garden? Maybe birds chirping, maybe water flowing or leaves rustling. Is there a smell in your garden? Maybe pine trees or flowers, dirt. Hmm. What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you see? What do you feel? Maybe there's something to taste in your garden. Maybe you're growing some mint or other herbs. Maybe you taste the nice cool water. It's safe here. It's peaceful here. Hmm. Feel how your body is feeling right now. healthy. It's safe. It's still. Imagine that every single cell in your body is filled with peace. Whatever peace feels like to you, maybe it feels soft. Maybe it feels warm or cool. What does peace feel like? Maybe it's fluffy. Imagine how peace feels inside.
Now imagine that every time you breathe out, that peace comes out and spreads around you. At first, you see the peace surrounding your face where your breath came out. Next, it surrounds your entire body. You can feel the peace now on the outside of your body, on your skin, down to your toes. Now imagining it getting wider and wider around you. So you are surrounded in peace. What does that look like? What does it feel like? What does your peace smell like? What does your peace taste like? Use all of your senses. That is being mindful. Using all of your senses right where you are. Let's sit for another few breaths, just imagining that peace spreading out through your garden, out into your city, out into your state. Your peace flows like a river all the way around the world, out into outer space. With each breath, it goes farther and farther, touches more and more hearts. Breathe and bring our awareness back to this time, this place. We'll get your fingers and toes. Open your eyes when you're ready. <sighs> Remember that you can take that peace with you everywhere. Anytime you need to feel that peace, anytime you're not feeling that peace, take a moment, go inside, take some breaths. Imagine how that peace felt in your body. Imagine how it felt when you were spreading it, when you were sharing it with the world. I have a book today called I Am Peace. Just a moment. Okay. Hi friends, it's Ms. Brooke. Today we're going to be reading a book called I Am Peace, a book of mindfulness by Susan Verde, art by Peter H. Reynolds. I Am Peace. There are times when I worry about what might happen next and what happened before. The thoughts in my head are like rushing water, and I feel like a boat with no anchor. Being carried away. I give myself a moment, I take a breath, and then I tell myself, it's all right. I feel the ground beneath my feet and steady myself. And start to notice the here and the now. My thoughts begin to settle. My mind begins to clear. I am peace. I can watch my worries gently pop up and disappear. I let things go. 
I can say what I feel inside, out loud. I know myself. I can share kindness with others. I make a difference. a tree and thank it for its beauty and strength. I connect to nature. I can watch the clouds make shapes against the sky. I know wonder. taste and smell and touch and hear and see what is all around me. I use my senses. I can feel my breath fill my whole body. I tune in to me. Now the water is still. I have found my anchor and everything is all right. I don't need to worry about before or after. I am in this moment. I am peace. Now I share my peace with others and hope that it is carried away to those who need it. And I dream, we are peace. What a peaceful, beautiful story. That peace is always inside of you. Sometimes we forget, especially grown-ups. Sometimes grown-ups need a little bit of help remembering that that peace lives inside of them. And during times like these, when there's a lot of stress, when there might be a lot of uncertainty, going inside, finding that peace and sharing it with others becomes so important. Being peaceful, sharing that peace is so important for our entire world right now. Peace on earth really does begin with you. It begins with you and with your family and your neighborhood and your community and your city and then your state and then your country, right? It all has to start inside of your home. So your activity for today is to sit down with a grown up in your family that lives in your home and talk about how can you make more peace? Maybe you can make a collective art project to remind yourself that that peace is inside of you and how important it is to connect with that peace every single day. I also encourage you to get outside with that grown up and see if you can create something together outside and go hug a tree. If you would like to send me a picture of yourself hugging a tree, I would love to see that. And any other questions, comments, anything that you and your family comes up with, maybe we can all work together to come up with a list of ideas of how we can all be more peaceful every single day, even when things get hard, even when you feel like the river is rushing too fast and you can't find your anchor like the little boy in the story. I hope you have a peaceful day, a peaceful week, and I miss you all so much. I cannot wait to see you again soon. Bye-bye.